I've gave her multiple chances to be honest with me and tell her as far as this morning, I went ahead and asked her, hey, Hannah, am I being stupid taking you on this show or are you honestly innocent or are you guilty? Let me know because I'm not going to do the show and she still says she's innocent. I'm real close to my nephew. He's been dating Hannah for like two years. They've had a baby. Hannah's prior son with somebody else, she's being accused of doing all these damaging things to her first son. DHS placed the child in my care while Hannah and my nephew is dealing with DHS, so I took him in. He's six months old now. They're saying Hannah has this disorder, Munchausen by proxy and she's accused of abusing him where he's almost brain damaged. She's accused of taking her first son to the doctor 38 times, to multiple doctors, it's not the same doctor. Hannah was accused of almost killing her son twice. The boy had brain bleed, fractured bones, bruises up and down his body, suffered from multiple seizures, and now he, they're saying he's mentally challenged pretty much because of all this. DHS got involved with Hannah and my nephew. They told my nephew that Hannah has to be removed from the house. He doesn't think Hannah is capable of doing it because he sees Hannah the way she is now. I've got his son, his and Hannah's son, permanently at my house and they can only have visitations one day a week until we go from here till we get answers, and I want answers. Hannah's not accused of abusing her son now with my nephew, but DHS saying the patterns are the same way as her first son, and they fear that she might be capable of hurting my nephew's son like she did her first son. If Hannah is innocent, I'll be happy for her, but if she's guilty, I'll do everything in my power. She'll never see him again. She'll never step foot in my house if she is guilty. I'll make sure of that. I mean, she's never gonna see him again if she's guilty. I'm here to clear my name of the horrific abuse that I've been accused of and prove that I do not have Munchausen and I am now on the verge of losing my six month old son. I'm here so I can keep being a mother to my child. I know I, I can't make a difference in my three year old, but I can sure try to be a mom to my six month old still. What happened with your oldest child? Well, in 2018, I had gone out shopping and left him with a family member. When I came home, I noticed his head was significantly larger. When I asked about it... Like swollen? Yeah, like, like uh, the top half. <laughs> and when I had asked about it, they stated that they didn't notice it. And so I thought maybe I was just see thinking, you know, seeing it, because he was born with a larger head. So I went the next morning and was going to take him to daycare. Another family member had noticed that... His head was significantly larger, and so that's when I officially decided to take him into the, into the hospital. After four doctors, they finally just decided and found to do brain scans, and that's where they found the fluid on the brain, and they didn't know what it was, so they transferred him to a children's hospital, and that's where they found brain hematomas and retinal hemorrhages and a possible arm fracture. When your son was four months old, they had multiple brain bleeds and possible tibia fracture. That's not a medical condition, right? That's an injury. Yes. So somebody had to cause these injuries, right? Yeah, that, that's why. That's... So it's only one option, right? Yeah. So there was an investigation, right? Yes. And what did, what, what did the investigation conclude? The original investigation was that it was a founded child abuse with unknown perpetrator. And, and they took your child away from you? Yes. Where's that child now? He's adopted. Okay, so you'll never see that child again? No, my rights were terminated. How does that feel, that your firstborn child, you'll never see again? It feels like a death sentence that isn't a death sentence. I, I miss it out on his whole life. Like, it's, there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, you, you know, I understand that you raised, uh, basically raised Jesus as your own son. Yes. Right. So he gets involved with Hannah. Uh, any first impressions of Hannah? 
I liked her. I thought she was a pretty cool yeah. person. Well, just talking to her now, she seems like a nice person. But, you know, when we hear these stories, horrific injuries, you know, th they discovered injuries, they take the child away, but then they give the child back. And, you know, 38 times to either a doctor or emergency room within three months or four months, whatever it is. I mean, insanely. And the scary part is, she says she has no idea or who did this. She says she didn't do it, she has no idea. When I hear that, I'm very skeptical. What's your feeling on it? The Hannah I know now, I don't see it happening, but. How about the fact that she has no idea how it happened? That's scary. Yeah. Because she left somebody with, right. with her first son, so somebody had to do it. Yeah. And now you're raising Hannah and your nephew, Jesus, child. What's that experience like for you? It's doing a new baby. It's all, it's new to me because there's all new rules. And I told Hannah and Jesus both when I found out she was pregnant that I'll babysit the kid, you know, so you can have family time, you know, to yourselves. But I wasn't raising this kid. And three months later, look where I'm at. You know if you did this, you know the conscience <laughs> couldn't, because I'm know. a mom, and I guarantee you, you're not going to have him no more. I know. You know, it's interesting, because you do seem sweet and innocent. And maybe, you know, maybe you're going to pass your lie detector test. But I remember the first time we did the story, and we were in Chicago, Munchausen by proxy. But she came across sweet and innocent, too. It's, it, it really is a mental illness because I, this illness m must make you really believe that you did nothing wrong. But they harm their children. And uh, it's, I mean, talk about a terrible mental illness. Somebody causing harm to their own child. Um, so I'm hoping you pass. And I hope you pass that you don't know who did this because if you knew who did it and then didn't say anything, that'd be just make you just as guilty as if you did it yourself. And we asked her, <clears throat> did you cause any of those injuries that your son sustained in 2018? She answered no. When you got your son back in 2019, did you intentionally do anything that would cause him to become ill? She answered no. Do you know who caused any of those injuries to your son in 2018? You answered no. Did you cause any of those injuries that your child had in 2020? You answered no. When you got your son back in 2020, did you intentionally do anything that would cause him to become ill? You answered no. Do you know who caused any of those injuries to your son in 2020? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those six questions, and they came back that Hannah told the truth. <laughs> I'm interested to know, these people that were watching your children, your, your child that was taken away, are, do you have a relationship with them anymore? One of them, but not, right. not the way it was before. Well, of course. I would say this. This, would, this is me talking. I would say to them, if you want a relationship with me, then you'll go to the show and take a lie detector test. And if you don't, then you're dead to me because my child is not with me for the rest of my life or his life because... Somebody did something to my child, and you have to prove to me that you didn't do anything to be in my life. Yeah. That's my advice I'd give you on that front, okay? Okay. Um, and if they say no, then you basically got your answer, and you should cut off all ties with those people. All ties. No matter how close they are to you, no matter who they are to you, if they're not willing to do what you did today, then you shouldn't have a relationship with them. And we wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you. But I hope you take my advice about that whole other situation. Yeah. Okay? Definitely. And we're here. And we'd be willing to do this for you. 
Okay. 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 I was right. My name is Steve Wilkos, and I'm an investigative talk show host with a law enforcement background. It was my life or his. My job is to get truth and justice for everyday people. Watch our videos now.